Hey, hello, welcome. So in this video, we will talk about writing SQL queries. So whenever we are going to write SQL query, we have to follow the structure. We have to follow the syntax. So what kind of syntax SQL is allowing in this video, I am going to explain you about that. So here you can see this is the way where we can use SQL queries. So whenever we will try to write SQL query, we have to follow the flow. So what is the flow? So first you need to write the select keywords inside the select we will use all the columns. So select is for mentioning all the columns for which we want to show the details. And then after we have to use from. In from we are going to mention all the table names from where we are going to get the data. In select we are mentioning the column of the table and in the from we are mentioning all the tables whatever tables or joins we are going to add. And then after we have to write where. If where is not mandatory, but yeah, obvious whenever we required, whenever we required any 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 validation in or adding any filter in SQL queries, we have to use where condition, where clause over there. And then after where, after writing the where, we can use group by. So it's based on the requirement. So if we want to show the data based on the grouping, grouping of the similar data, we will use group by come clause and then after group by we have we have having so having whenever we have to add a logic add the validation on the group function with the group function having is going to use so there are differences between having and where I will create separate videos and there I will explain you about each and everything and here you can see this is the flow where we will write the query and the last in last we will use order by Order by will define our queries data. So what kind of order it will show us the data. We can show our data in ascending order, even we can show our data in descending order. So this is the complete flow in which we will write the query. First we will write select, then from, then where, then group by, having, order by. So last four is not mandatory, but yeah, whenever we write queries, select and from is the mandatory part. In from we will add the column name, table name and in select we will add the column of the table name. So here if you will see this is the basic example of that whatever I explain here the flow. So here you can see here we use select a student name from this student TV is a table where age is greater than 20 group by a student name and having count is greater than 1. So in where we are simply adding the condition, adding the filter or adding the logic and whenever we want to add the logic based on aggregate function or the group function, we have to use having over there. And here we use having count of subject is greater than one and the order by student rule. So this is the way we will use write query, write uh, SQL query. I will explain you. And here this is the way how SQL engine execute our SQL queries and source the data. So whenever we are writing our SQL query, the first part of the execution is the from. So here you can see the from or any joint we added. So SQL engine first execute the from part, this part from this table. So it will get data from this table. Then after it will go for the validation in where. So whatever validation we use, it will show data from a student table based on the validation as age is greater than 20. Then you can see group by. If we have any group by or any filter have using the having, then it will go for that. So group by if we added, then it will group the whatever data coming from this table based on this validation, it will group the data. Then after if we have any validation for having, it will add this one. Then after it will select the data from select. You can see result, result as a select. And in the last of the execution is order by. Order by is executing in the last. So this is the flow of execution of the SQL queries. This is the flow of where we, uh, in which stage we will write the query and how SQL engine executes the query, you can see. So thank you for guys for watching this video. If you like this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching.